the topic real quick. <laughs> so tell me how today I find out that you could get a what's a microchip, right? Girls could get a microchip that stops your period. You know what? Duh. You knew that? Yeah. You imagine that stops it. That's that no, you won't have a period. That's, that's not. No, no. Are you you mean the, the IUD? Control? The IUD? No, it's not like, birth control. It's like a thing that's installed. Well, in it, it's a it's it's a term of birth control, but it will stop your period. Like, like you will not but have. It's not period. an IUD. I don't, I don't know. I, it's I don't not know. the one that goes in there that stops and, and nah, and, nah, not that shit. That shit. She said. So the girl was explaining that before she went to jail, she got the chip here, and she did not have her period the whole time she was in jail. She was in jail for like fifteen months. She didn't have her period not once. Like she got it like knowing like yo, I don't want to have. I don't want to have my period. That work? I have, that's what I I was saying. I was like, I just heard it like right now. I'm like, hold I was not looking at my phone. I, I, was like, phone. I was like, hold up. Here, you, you're the Google guy. <laughs> so so where, so she's telling her story, right? As she's telling her story, I'm I'm think. Wait, you knew that. You you knew that, or you just saying yeah, and no, hey, you fucking that. googling that shit right now. I'm not googling. Oh, okay, okay. Period stopping implant. Let's see. So when we have the menstrual after getting a hormonal implant, this is not important. Hormonal implants. I know a lot of my friends have them. That that have that? Does that like fuck? Like what? If you take it out though, you can still have kids later on. Or how's it's that effect, work? It's it for three know, years. I don't know. Uh, the implant is the size of a toothpick and is made out of plastic that contains a type of progestin hormone medicine called. Etonogestrel. Mm-hmm. Uh, slowly. Do, 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 do. So it like releases small amounts of progesterone, right? That uh, it's genestrol. So uh, it says suppresses the gland, which stops the ovary. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like it's a chip. Bro. It seems like it's a drug. I- no, she, she, no, she, 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 she got some implant. Yeah, it's an yeah. implant, but it's like it's so your like friends. So your friends get no period then. They have it for, but that's a that's a form of birth control. No, they have a form of birth control. They get their period, but it, it was like irregulated their period, so they got she it. Probably, so, they, uh, so their periods could be. Because here is and they, they even uh, recommended it to me since. But wait, wait, wait. Uh-huh. okay, but it regulates your period now. Which one stops it though? Because the one that she's talking about it stops it. Like she well, does maybe not. Well, that is is probably like the same. Um, like type of thing but yeah, probably yeah. that one is the one to stop it get me i'm pretty sure there's different that's the, but how, the, how, how does that how does that happen though it's like it fucks up your hormones basically right yeah, like you mess up your hormones so any type yeah, it of says birth control it, it, it says up your hormones. it says uh do hormonal implants have any other benefits besides protecting against pregnancy mm-hmm. yes hormonal implants can cause very light or no menstrual periods Less anemia, low number of red blood cells, and less menstrual cramps and pain. So it's not necessarily a guarantee that you won't have a period, but it will be way reduced. Got you, got you. Some people may not get it at all. Or, or, or very light, as in the okay. symptoms that you just you don't feel are very light yeah, down, down. Because it's not the same cause. Ah, okay, okay. I, I, I just had that shit today. I was like, yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. Medic, medicine is fucking out of here today with that shit. Or technology, really. That, that shit was out of, out, out of here today. I man, I just want to interject that one because that's I just heard that like not that long ago. I was like, motherfucker, bro. The rapture. Nah, man. <laughs> that that shit was. First of all, you know what's funny is like, yo, you know I used to tell you like, oh, is it the chip, the chip. The chip. Now yeah. I'm asking myself, which one of them? <laughs> yo. <laughs> because there's so many that's so chips. True. That, that's that's a good point. You know, actually, um, uh, th- there's a very important uh view, right? A viewpoint, I guess you could say. So you know how. Like I don't want to say lately, but just in general, right? Mm-hmm. Just in general, when when somebody passes away, uh, somebody that you felt is a good person, um, someone who felt is a positive person, whatever you know, so somebody who you felt was good. You get me in general, yeah. And somebody was doing something good, or was a good person to to you, mm-hmm. um, and then, you know they pass away out of nowhere. Some crazy shit happens. They just pass away. You know, you ask yourself like, mm-hmm. oh, like what? Well, you know. Like what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. Like you know why? Why are the good being taken mm-hmm. away and the bad people stay here? Right? <laughs> so I, that got me thinking. I'm like, but this shit sound like the rapture. <laughs> this shit, you know, you know. Did you ever see the movie This Is the End? With yeah. like all these, you know, yeah. Steph yeah. Morgan. So every time they do something good, the light will yeah. come and they will get taken away. I'm thinking, yo, it, it ain't that, ain't it like that though? As a, well, as a biblically speaking, right? You can break it down, right? You can break this down. This is my understanding of it. You break it down biblically. So my understanding is. At the end of times, you know, the rapture happens, right? All of the people that were faithful and whatnot, they leave with God, right? The good people, I guess, of society, mm-hmm. right? The bad people or the people that weren't, you know, faithful, mm-hmm. whatever, they stay. And the only way you get into heaven from that point on is you got to give your life, right? Like you got to give your life for mm-hmm. God, wh- mm-hmm. whatever that may look like, you know what I'm saying? So if we look at now, right? So like, let's say, like, you know, this came to be like, for example, like Nipsey, mm-hmm. right? 
So Nipsey dies, and you know everybody has nothing but positivity to talk about with Nipsey, yada yada yada. And then you know you start to hear more about like, yo, why are the good dying? And then the mm -hmm. bad people saying here, this and that. And we have the chip shit happening. We have a bunch of like you know um his his I don't want to say history, but like a lot of like I guess stuff written mm -hmm. in the Bible is coming to fruition like at a at a at a bigger pace now. Accelerated rate. Right. So what makes you think that the rapture didn't happen already, or do you think it'll be obvious like in the fucking movie Left Behind? Like it's a fucking obvious oh, yeah. that this shit happened. Can I mean like yo like. Where did this shit happen already? We don't even fucking realize that happened already. Well, We're I, living I, through that time. Now. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it depends how you define it. But Jesus, at least in the words of Jesus, right? Since mm -hmm. we're talking about biblical, no, no yeah, more, the Bible. no more, no more like biblical than Jesus. Yeah. Jesus says it will happen in the blink of an eye. He says the two will be in a harvest, and they're like planting, growing, reaping harvest, right? Yeah. yeah. And one will stay, one will go. Two will be in a bed, meaning a husband and a wife, yeah. and one will stay, one will go. Yeah. yeah. Like at, in a blink of an eye. Yeah. And, and so and. So if you look at that, right, let's say for the sake of argument, right now, blink of an eye, I stick around talking and I look around and you're not here. That won't happen, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be vice versa. I think that should be the other way around. <laughs> I think it'll be the other way around, but okay. Okay. I, I you know, what's going on. <laughs> the way you looked at me was like, are you stupid? Like, the way you looked at me. Is that... Because I knew you were trying to be nice and not say... You weren't trying to be like, I'll leave and you say... <laughs> you were trying, you trying to be like, you know, you're a fucking sinner, so you definitely say You didn't want to say that. So you're like, you know what? I'll take the bullet here. But I'll stay and you go. Like, motherfucker, that will not happen. But I, I, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. <laughs> so, so it's like, that is the picture the Bible gives us. It will be... Okay. Because Jesus gives a story. He says, you know, if you knew the thief was coming, would you let him rob you? No. Like, if he told you, hey, I'm going to be here... At this time to rob your house, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna be waiting for him. That is the problem with the Actually, rapture. Actually, no, I'm gonna go find him before. <laughs> that, sure that, but that is, oh, you're good, you're good. But you're taking it too far. The rest <laughs> of us are gonna call the cops. Be like, this guy told me he's coming to my house. <laughs> you know? Oh, so, yeah, I could have called th the cops. That right? is what Jesus says about the rapture. He says, the thief does not announce when he's gonna come, neither does Jesus come when he's gonna return. It's gonna happen because it's because it describes it like a thief. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. It's not that he's just gonna rob you, but technically he's robbing people out of their suffering, right? Right. right? And telling them that. out of whatever situation they may be. Yeah, yeah. But it's seen as a blink of an eye, so that's why I don't believe it's happened yet. Do I believe it's gonna happen? So, yes. so you feel like it hasn't happened yet because like she's not chaotic yet. Like it's not. No, like no. I think it's aren't, chaotic. People aren't like, oh my god, my husband's gone no. out of nowhere, my kids are gone out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Now that part of it, and the other part is because. Uh, well, you do allude to a lot very, very real things. Things are getting worse rapidly. Yeah. Like, I think they're getting really bad, like, really quickly. Yeah. Right? Like, let's yeah, be honest. Sure. Um, like, the Amazon. Yeah, all this yeah, stuff, yeah. you know. And, and I saw somebody post something about that, which says, like, the, the nature grows for the return. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what okay. the Bible says. So okay. somebody looked at it like, you know, like, even nature's suffering yeah. for the return, right? If you subscribe to the faith. If you yeah. don't, then you might just say... We're idiots and we're the ones so who like caused this. global warming, yeah. the So all this stuff, you know, like, some people are saying, yo, we don't have more than 20 years. Some people say, you might not get to the next generation. Some yeah. people are saying, we might not get five years from now. We might just lose it. You know, it depends what studies, but everybody's eminently saying lose that what, either... Like the tr we'll lose so much, like, like trees the, and shit. Yeah, we'll and we'll lose the icebergs, right? And so the caps will melt. And so, you know, we'll, we'll see the blood and all that stuff. So uh, we are seeing, you know, crazy weather changes, whether people admit it or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Obviously, Miami, we've been used to that, so we don't notice it. But, yeah. you know, we've had some of the highest recorded heat indexes and some of the coldest days as well this last year. You know, we saw people die of frost. Oh, like, yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, and homeless some of that. People, yeah. You know, like, because we were seeing negative, yeah. like, 50 degrees, like, insane yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff, yeah. right? Like, Shit does like, like, like this, what's that movie called? The uh, Day After Tomorrow. Day After Tomorrow. Yeah, like, that kind of, call, yeah. Are yeah, that kind of crazy. Wow, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, Jesus says, you'll see all these things. You'll see men rising up against children, children rising up against whatever, you know, husbands getting divorced and fighting and whatnot. You'll see nations rising against nations. You'll see uh, rumors of war. You'll see all this stuff. And it's still not the end. Yeah. Uh, he I says, you then that. you'll see, like, people proclaim that they're God, which we're seeing now. If you, some of you follow, you know, some people were, like, like, this is a guy who got arrested, but he has said he was the coming of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He got arrested because basically his you know belief system or it was kind of like uh, you know my my opinion don't take offense to this if you hear it. it's like a cult right okay and so he was saying you know he's like the coming of Jesus he's that cult who, like, who was, it just got famous or something like yeah that? he has a big church in Mexico 
But really? yeah, he got arrested for some like sketchy stuff with the running like businesses or whatever. Oh, like uh, t- taking money type stuff. I think so. But you know, he's arrested. But he proclaimed he was Jesus, and he's not the first or the last. A lot of people. And so, he says, and and so Jesus says, you know, people are gonna proclaim that they're me, that they're my prophet, that they're whatever, yeah. and it's still not the end. Yeah. Right. So um, you know, and if you grew up in church, I grew up in church. I've been hearing the rapture is gonna happen Forever. since yeah. I was born. I think the day I was born, the rapture was gonna happen. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> I think gotcha. for my graduation, the rapture was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so remember six six six, like June six two thousand six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. people so were was freaking the, out. Yeah, yeah, people so were sure. like, I remember looking at the news. Like, my parents yeah, was those. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were already in summer, but we stayed home all of us together that day because my parents are believers. So like, my parents were on that like, yo, you're staying in the house, yeah, no yeah. questions asked. But well, what about twenty twelve? That the buying oh, yeah, yeah. shit. And so like the ending. Of that? People, our people were selling their houses. Yeah, people, people were doing crazy shit. Like, you know, we were like, like, yo, I'm ready to go. Y two K, like all this stuff, like has happened. Y two K, I heard about that. Yeah, know. so it's like the thousand was like all, everybody thought it was like the end of the world, blah blah blah. And so it was like Wait, a whole mess. Y two K, what's that sound for? Y two K, year two thousand. Year two thousand. Yeah. What, what what the fuck is that about? Google it. What the fuck is that? Is that like a thing behind yeah, it? Yeah, it's a thing behind it. People literally thought it was gonna be the end. People thought nine eleven was the end of the world. Like you know, nine eleven was the. So we've been hearing about the end so of the world. So just Y two K. Yes. Yeah. Two K. No two K rapper. Year yeah, two thousand. It's class computer related. So it was supposed to be like the end of times because of a bug, a bug that was gonna ruin all the computer systems and whatnot, uh, right? So all oh man, we've been hearing about it. You know, like the crash of whatever. Um, all throughout history, uh-huh. we thought it was gonna be the end of time. Yeah. Uh, but who knows? So it's, it's like time and time again, we th- well we think it's like oh like like this shit is really bad, so it must be. It's like nah, homie, like it's it's gonna, it's gonna get, get worse. worse. It's gonna get gotcha, worse. Gotcha. And um. The thing is, either you go to the extreme, where it's like, we become, you know, like, everything is alive, the government is alive, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, or we yeah. go to the other extreme, where we're like, oh, we don't care, it is what it is. Yeah. But somewhere in the middle, you look at different belief systems, and each point to the earth ending, each point to, like, eventual history yeah. of, like, coming to the end, right? Yeah. So, there, I think there's definitely truth to that. I just don't think it will come the way we think it will. Yeah. I mean, okay, so... Um, you you show, you you sent me a song, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and in, in one of the verses, he said something about uh, animals, right? He talked about how like I would put a video up. I, I don't know the lyrics. I just heard the yeah, song. Yeah, so, so um, uh, I think I know what I'm talking about. He says like like people care more about when we put uh, animal violence on, than when we see humans getting killed like animals. Right, right, right. It, it's like it's like we when we see like humans getting killed like animals. Yeah, it's like oh okay, animal. whatever. We're like we understand, but but then when we see like animals, it's like oh my god, we everybody gotta protest. like we got a pita, yeah. we got a call, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I I was thinking the other day. I was like, you know, um, so like you you remember the whole thing that happened with pink slime back then? Like mm-hmm. oh McDonald's yeah. makes out of pink slime, right? So I initially thought that pink slime was just like a like something they created. That that shit was like it just turned into like you know. Like meat or whatever, mm-hmm. right? But realistically, like we hear stuff like nuggets and stuff like that. They're not animals. They're not actual animals. They're like, like the pieces left over. Type right type yeah. shit. So I mean, e- e- even in in that realm, do you think that nuggets or you think that there's nuggets that are fake? I think there's all kinds. Of... Like I, when I say fake, I don't mean that it doesn't even come from an animal at all. Like, this shit just got made. Well, isn't that what like the Impossible Burger and all that stuff is? Yeah, but isn't that shit like mixed like for like fucking like vegetables? Yeah, but look, Impossible Burger is an, an illusion, right? Like, mm-hmm. can I borrow your phone? Yeah. Look at the ingredients in the Impossible Burger. Like for that, I just eat a I eat a cow. I know I'm offending vegans, but look at the ingredients in some of these burgers, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, no, no, don't. Oh, we'll, we'll, yeah, don't say I'm not. How do I cancel this? Yeah. Do this. Okay. Yeah, I, I need that page, buddy. Right. I have a. I'm sorry, but I have an iPhone. Yeah. Uh. So some of these vegan stuff that we were talking about last time, they're don't, they're not it, bro. Ingredients, huh? right? Mm, do, do, do. So look, oh, great, hundred percent no beef. But what does it have? Okay, uh, people don't believe you. I don't want to go to what? Yeah, what? It, it's, it's it's just a bunch of like. Um, look, look, it's uh iron rich molecules. Yeah, they be trying to confuse the shit. Like, yeah, what does that shit. even mean? I don't know what the fuck that is, bro. <laughs> you know, like. Look, here it is. The fuck is iron? I just know shit's on broccoli, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Let's basically come and cruise me. Broccoli, da 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 Where is it? It says, uh, okay, why is it so hard to find your ingredients if it's real? 
So it's a blend of soy protein, potato protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, salt, yeast, and a variety of emulsifying agents. What's that? What's the, the key not so ingredient is that word is too big for me. What the fuck is emulsifying? That's my point. My point is, oh, it is vegan. So what? So no are Oreos. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Look, so it says, here's the ingredient list of the Impossible Burger. Water. Soy protein concentrate. So that means you extract it somewhere chemically made. Right, right. Coconut right. oil, sunflower oil, natural flavors, whatever that is. That bullshit. 2% bullshit. or less of potato protein, methyl cellulose, yeast extract, culture dextrose, food starch modified. Food starch modified. Uh, what is yeah. food starch? Starch from what food, first of all? Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you modify it, secondly. Then soy le- 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 hemoglobin, glob- I think? So, soy protein isolate. So that means you isolate a protein from where? Yeah, you yeah. You know, yeah. chemically it made. It came from animal, right? Yeah, it could have. Yeah. yeah. Mixed tocopherols, which means vitamin E, zinc, gluconate, thiamine, hydrochloride, sodium, asorbate, to give you all the vitamins that you it can actually like, lose. It sound like acid. Niacin, pyridoxine, hydrochloride. I know some of you are going to look like idiot can't read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. At this point, you me, bro. Riboflavin. No, all this... Riboflavin. Uh, riboflavin. <laughs> See, I'm already like, 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 like German. So, I know that word. Because that why? Word. Because Kool-Aid got that. So you can add vitamins <laughs> because they're not they're not naturally occurring in this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean... But, so okay. my point is... This shit fucked up. My point up. is... I don't believe you. I'm, okay, so... so but my, my thing is this. So, so vegans are... And again, you correct me now because I be forgetting this shit all the time. Vegetarians eat vegetables, but no meat. Mm-hmm. Vegetarians don't eat no meat. They eat everything except meat. So vegetarians can eat anything except meat. meat. Vegans are plant-based only. No, so, no, 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 no. Not about that. It's not plant-based only. Yeah, vegans? No, yeah. it's not. Vegan, because you just said Oreos. Vegans will eat Oreo. Oreos. No, tell no, me no, what no, Oreo grew from. I know, but I'm saying, but plant based is they, they eat no animal, animal byproducts. Animal byproducts. Yeah, but that's not. So that, that's no, not. That's plant, no, no, but, plant based is very. Plant based is very different from vegan. Yeah, yeah well, well, they claim really to be. They can lay claim to be plant based. Bullshit. That's what they see. Vegans eat. I know, but I'm telling you, ask a vegan, and they'll be like, "Oh, we have a plant based diet." Does that mean they only eat plant based? No, they eat Oreos, they eat cookies, whatever. It's not plant based. You know, you know, um. But Wait, aren't you vegan or vegetarian? vegetarian. She's pescatarian because she's fish. Oh, okay, so okay. That, that's like a veg- vegetarian leeway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegetarians, some are just like I only it's like, eat it's, vegetables. It's like I don't want to. I don't fuck up the cows. Yeah. I, don't, I I care about the chickens, but fuck the fishes. Yeah, that's basically. Oh. But that's pescatarian. That's basically but, but, what pescatarian is. But vegetarians oh. will eat cheese. That's a pescatarian oh. is. <laughs> some vegetarians will eat cheese, right? Uh-huh. Some pescatarians will eat Nemo, like you know. Oh. <laughs> so gotcha, gotcha. So, but vegans, are, you know, it's usually plant based, right? So their cheese is plant based, right? Their blah 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 is plant based. Like they don't eat lactose because it comes from a cow. cow yeah, they don't, yeah. they don't eat whatever dairy or whatever it is. So all of that is plant based. That's essentially the goal. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't, uh, again, I, I, that's a goal. Because for example, if you look at Doctor Savi's diet, Doctor Savi's diet is plant based. Like it's actual plant based. Like it's. Whole Only, foods, yeah. whole foods, and you're eating vegetables. You're eating cer- and certain vegetables. You're eating certain fruits. You're eating certain grains, certain oils. You get so me? it's holistically plant based. Exactly. It, it is not like a, oh, I'm plant based, but you know, every now and then I'm eating like a cake, cheesecake, yeah. or whatever other. Well, they do have those like, vegan cakes, right? Like the vegan cookies that we saw at the other place. Vegan cookies. Yeah, yeah. I remember at uh, what happened? They also had the vegan oil oh, yeah, cheesecake. Yeah, 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 the, that was a cheesecake? There was an Oreo cheesecake that was vegan. It was an Oreo cake. I don't know if it was a cheesecake. Oh, cake, whatever. I don't know. It was an Oreo I, cake. There's a difference. Okay, yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but I don't know what cheese, cheese you know? Like, yeah, I yeah. saw blah, blah, chocolate, blah, 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 cheese. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> well, the yeah, Oreo cake. The, the, the reason that I get into that, because I was thinking, like, okay, so if pink slime is fake meat or whatever, and you're a vegan vegetarian, you can eat it because you it, you're not technically eating animals. But I don't know. I just feel like there's too many chichi nowadays. You get me? Like, like, but so there is chichi in your diet, and there is chichi in the way people produce food. For mm-hmm. example, the requirement by the uh, whatever the FDA. department the FDA, FDA uh-huh. um, is. Wait, no, it's a food FDA. and agricultural department. department. FDA. Is it FADA? No, food and agriculture uh, department. Is food development or food development? Uh, food uh, development and agriculture the department. Like that? Okay. So whatever. The the requirement is doesn't even have to be hundred percent meat. That was the whole thing with uh Taco Bell. 
Taco Bell has 30% real meat, which is that apparently is like <laughs> real, is that, li- is that minimum? Uh-huh. So you can still consider it meat. Yeah, well, you know what, you know, actually, you just reminded me of something. I remember, you know, those five minutes I spent in college, that <laughs> there was a class uh, on nutrition where she would talk about how, yo, um, you're, you're, like, by those approvals, you're allowed to say, oh, if it has, like, less than, like, 2% of something, you can say it's, it's fat-free or whatever. Let's say, or it's this yeah. free or whatever. If it, has, if it has less percentage of certain grow, uh, hormones or whatever, yeah. Yeah. you can say it's organic. Yeah. Damn. That's what people, I'm telling you, that's what people say, like, I only eat organic. Eh, yeah. The only way you can be certain Dang. is you if grow you food. grow your own food. Yeah, you gotta grow your own food. And even then, that shit might yeah. be still a little because bit. Because even like in Whole Foods, that's, Whole Foods is uh, supposed to be in theory, most of the things are organic. But then you'll see some labels that say really organic. So the other thing that was just organic, what was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. But I got that shit Like, it doesn't say really organic. You said something, but Google it. And you know, if we go to Whole Foods, we're going to take a field trip to Whole Foods, we'll record it, show it to you guys, and you'll see that some things show you. Like, 100% organic ingredients, yeah. and the other thing just says organic. That's a distinction. Yeah, yeah. Because one a... uses only organic products. Yeah. The other one, the result of whatever you've mixed so, is organic. So the organic and the 100%, so 100% organic will be like the right way to do it. Yeah, like the And then the organic yeah. is like... Yeah. Eh, you know, maybe. So, so that's when we're like, you're I just, like, well, you're I just like stuck up one time with hormones just once. I just yeah. did it once. You know what I'm Just once. Everybody was doing it. Yeah, know? yeah, The, the cow was looking kind of weak. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, he broke a leg, so exactly. he had to heal faster. So, so yeah. like, like meat. Like, that's fucked You know, up, like man. meat, certain requirements can be considered prime meat. Yeah. And not, it's just regular meat. You know, you know to, look, to this day, right, my favorite meal is still steak. Um, to this day, ribeye, mm-hmm. cooked medium, side of uh, sweet potato fries. Now it's like my new, my new shit. So, but to this day though, I still don't understand where, cause I know, I meat, yeah, meat. yeah, 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 I don't understand what the fuck this yeah, comes from, I don't understand what, it's a grading that somebody gives them, so it's like a Ooh. political grade, so like, so the FDA, that, FDA prime yeah. meat. That's cr- so. Wait, do you go to college for these classes, right? Like, like to be like an FDA agent, like a I I'm guess like an agent, yeah, just like some you, agriculture someone, someone class. Someone comes and, and grades people's you know way of processing because everything is based on, if I'm not mistaken, on processing of the food. The way you do your like how food, you handle the how you handle the cow. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that is what gives it the grade. Is it private rib or whatever? The way you produce your wheat is it organic? Is that considered organic? So how you wait? But what do you mean how you handle? It? Like you mean how you like kill your cow? Like, like no, 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 no. What, what you fed it? What you fed the it? procedure? What okay, you giving it? Okay. Because you know, for example, pigs cannot be prime because they eat crap. It's literally, yeah. You never yeah. heard like prime yeah, they, bacon? Yeah, they be giving pigs like yeah. like. But you can shit. do turkey bacon that is technically cleaner gotcha, because gotcha. turkeys don't eat the same kind of diet I, I that, that uh, pigs. Well, I mean, I mean, but uh, you know, to go back to the song. Then to me that's all ironic when people are become like super defendant of animals yeah, yeah. but will let humans die. Nah, yeah, I mean it, to 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 that, to that point is very true though. Like, but I feel like we are very desensitized. Like in this day and age though, like yo, if if you hear right about look, they had um a uh, a Black Mirror episode, right? Uh, I think it's like the first one from the new mm-hmm. season, right? So the guy, essentially what the guy does, he kidnaps this kid who worked at some big ass. Uh, oh, and he makes him like rob the bank or whatever. No, 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 no. no. So, so he robs this kid who works at a big um, a social media company, right? So this kid's an intern, and the guy didn't even know, right? So basically, the guy's trying to talk to the CEO to tell the CEO that, yo, um, the reason my wife died was because I looked at my phone because I was, like, bored while I was driving, and um, I went on the social media app, and I saw some comment that somebody liked, and then, you know, when I look back up, bam, I crashed, right? So he's trying to tell the CEO, like, yo, you know, I need you to get this out of my chest, right? And my, this is this whole big social media thing. So, um, they got police outside and shit, you know, it's like, like a big ass thing going on, right? And they end up like, uh, sh- you know, the guy's trying to struggle because he's going to kill himself and mm-hmm. the guy didn't want him to kill himself, whatever. So long story short, they, they, th- there's kids out there like tweeting and like recording mm-hmm. everything, you know, putting it up, right? So people, are, you see it towards the end, like I, I think, you know, they don't show what happens at the end and they kind of stop it. So it's kind of like, you don't know if both of them die, but whatever, right? The point is that this news is out there, right? And... You see everybody just going about their day, walking to work, going to the gym, whatever. Yeah, I mean, they check their phone and they put it back down. They check their phone. So it's one, one of these things right here. Mm-hmm. And then that, that you know, that episode just showed, like, yo, that's basically what happens nowadays, right? That's like, yo, it's like these these big moments that, like, are impactful to people, shit that, like, really fucking matters. Like, yo, like, somebody just died. Some, somebody just lost their mom, their dad. Like, significant people that mean something to their lives, right? Like, some people is big. 
You know, you're looking at this shit from a from a little box on your phone. There's a brief moment, and you put it away. That shit doesn't matter no more because you've heard it so much. Like you've heard this shit happen time and time again that you're like, all right, like you know, like it, yeah, it just, you know, it's literally like thoughts and prayers. Right, it, but you don't even say that. It's, it's like to you, it's like it's like you you look no, and it's like, like uh, yeah. But the people who tweet about it, or whatever, is literally thoughts and prayers. Like yeah, like yeah. to me, the irony is like, what am I gonna do? Sending my thoughts and prayers to the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Right, mm. but there's nothing. But, but there's nothing. And, and we understand that. But when it comes to somebody who's hurting, yeah, yeah. thoughts and prayers. Yeah. To a country that's starving, thoughts, thoughts and prayers. prayers. Yeah. Like, yo, if it's not gonna stop a forest fire, you think it's gonna stop starvation? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that. So it, it, it just people basically expressing some some bullshit emotion out there. Yeah. I mean, like just uh, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sending my my because love or whatever. It makes me feel good. Right. Right. And it's not because I actually want to make a dent in yeah. the problem. Yeah. It's because it makes me feel good. Because right. social, social media, yeah, yeah. what it exemplifies is the selfishness and greed of us. Yeah. I want to be heard. I want to be seen. I want to be valued. And if you disagree with me, I'm going to attack you. Yo. Do me a favor. Get this. Um, answer Giselle. Get it downstairs, please. The mic. Where were we again? Yeah, like the whole idea of, you know, if someone's suffering, whatever, we just look at our phone and dismiss it or whatever. Yeah, you just, and you just kind of keep it moving. So, I mean, and... and in, in that sense, like you, you do get desensitized to to a lot of things that happen with people nowadays because it's just happened. But like you know, as, as but with animals, like you, you see, like with animals, is um, it's almost like a new age thing, right? Where it's like I, I at least I feel like we kind of reach a point where it's like okay, you have two points of views, right? It's like you yourself, right? Either you you know you're educated enough or you don't know, right? On one side, and on the other side, you don't care. So. On, on, on the side of whether you know or you're not or you're not educated is this like you know why would you have to go ahead and torture an animal and kill this animal just so that you can feed yourself when you don't have mm-hmm. to do that you get me like why is it that you feel like you need to like overcome this thing because you know killing if you really look at it right like just most people don't have the stomach to go and kill for their own mm-hmm. food nowadays yeah. you get me you know because everything is just like easy yeah, service no yeah, no yeah, yeah yeah so you know if, if you had to go, like, you know, hunters say this, like, people that hunt for food, not for game, they'll say that, you know, you going to hunt and killing your own thing is, um, is like, a, is a respect yeah, to, to the animal. Yeah, exactly, right? Because you're going out there and it's hunting, right? And, and it all depends whether, you know, you want to argue that point, you could, you get me? Mm-hmm. But, but the point is, like, you know, um, the, the not knowing part would be, like, the, oh, fuck, I'm just eat me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not educated in that mm-hmm. sense, or, like, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just do what I do. Um... And then the annoying part is like, yo, you know, like, yo, this animal, they get tortured, they get fucked up. The reason that they do it is because the companies that do is make money, right? Yeah, they must so, producing whatever. Right, so I mean, like, the minute they stop making money, because it's all about demand, right? Like, it, the demand is too crazy. It's mm-hmm. not, it, the demand has nothing to do with per people. Mm-hmm. It has to do with, like, how much yeah. I want. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, I, there's two people in my house, right? And I could want 12 pounds of meat if I wanted to or something like that, right? That's a, that's a high demand for it, you know what I mean? So... It, it, all, it all comes down to, to those things. So it's like, yo, if everybody stopped eating meat, then those companies yeah. shut down. Those animals wouldn't get um, those animals wouldn't get you know like fucked up. Because the way they are getting no, fucked yeah, up. there's no business for it. Exactly, and then people they want to meet, they'll probably have to go out and mm-hmm. hunt themselves or some shit like that, right? And then the part of there's another part where it was like people just don't really care because like you know you're born into I was like me, I'm born eating meat. You know I mean, like, I wasn't really, I'm not conscious thinking about like oh like this is fucked up. I'm mm-hmm. hurting the animals. I'm not that type of person, right? But you know like whichever realm you sit on though. Do you feel like, you know, there's still some type of, like, responsibility within human zone to, like, be like, ah, well, maybe we shouldn't be eating these animals because it's fucked up, right? Because, I mean, that, that, that that's a big argument with the people. Put it right there if you want. There's a big argument with the people. Like, people are like, yo, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, well, maybe I shouldn't, uh, you know what I'm saying, be eating animals or whatever because it's fucked really? up. Or the other Skype of, like, I don't know, who cares? Like, I, you know? Can, can I, tell, I, I, think, I think most of us don't even live on those two. Right? I think we live more in the middle. It sucks. sucks. Yeah. And this is where most of us live. I'm be honest. It sucks. But it doesn't suck enough to leave me to leave my convenience. But that's not middle. That's more of I don't care. No, that's middle. Like, it sucks. Like, yo, we shouldn't be doing this consciously. But, am, like, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, the perfect example is it, literally, like, me, right? Eating me is... Yo, I probably should not be condoning this or eating this, whatever. But, man, I really like steak. Yeah. Or, you know, like, it's already dead anyways. Like, uh-huh. like it's not going to force me to say, you know what, I renounce all of this. Because right. it's convenient to my diet and to my desires. Okay. And, and I think that's how we approach everything else. It's like, you know, that that sucks. Thoughts and prayers. 
but it's not close to home, so I don't do anything about it. You know, the killing of African Americans okay. uh, yeah, in yeah, America. Yeah. Gotcha. That sucks. Gotcha, but gotcha. that person is not Hispanic, mm. so it doesn't affect me. I get what you're saying. That sucks, but that person is not white, so it doesn't affect me. Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I feel your pain, but from afar, because he hasn't hit home yet. Got you. So the minute it does hit home, right? Like, yo, your city that you love gets attacked, yeah. or your family that you love gets attacked, or friend that you love gets yeah. attacked, then it becomes a big deal, whether it's individually uh, or not. It won't necessarily be culturally mm. for the most part, but, you know, I guess, like, it'll affect yeah, the mass, yeah. right? Because think about it, like, uh, um... Uh, I'll give you the perfect example. Right? When a president says the rhetoric of all Hispanics are rapists, da 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 yeah. Most people are like, mm, I know somebody Hispanic, they seem fine, yeah. right? But let one Hispanic rape somebody. Uh-huh. You see, I told you, and then that builds a stigma for everybody. It hit yeah. home. Yeah. It hit home. I mean, it, it's, it's the same stigma And that's how you build, yeah, that's yeah. how you build that hatred. Yeah. You know, they rape somebody, black, yeah, or yeah. that black people, oh, all black people are whatever, you fill in the blank, yeah. right? This generalization that's not true. Yeah, yeah. But when you see it and you can you point to somebody, mm-hmm. then it becomes a real stigma. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so okay, so let's 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 leave with that then. So okay, so in in, in that point of view, right? So you know you have you have a people that oppress another race, mm-hmm. right? For so long, I, do you feel like in every in every culture or race, maybe except for Asians? So I'm really speaking mostly on like black and brown people. Do you feel like they aim for that? Like yo, I want to be white. Um point of view because I, 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 I'll take a, a Dominican for example right like Dominicans they don't consider themselves black mm-hmm. right because the so for them it's like no no, no I'm, I'm Dominican yeah. right I'm, I'm Spanish I'm not, I'm not an Asian I'm, I'm not, not you know like, like a Dominican yeah. would be like oh negro right mm-hmm. but in uh, now I remember like I, I know I know there's people like Hispanic and older Hispanic people right that like to use the language like oh mm-hmm. negros right which for you guys that means black people right You're black and, and, and it, it comes with a racist connotation exactly it, the tone is very mm-hmm. like racist mm-hmm. But, like, you know, they'll be like, oh, but what? They're black, though. They're black. It's like, I'm just saying those colors are scared. But I was like, yeah, I've never heard that person say, oh, the whites. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The los blancos, right? Like, the white people. I never I never heard yeah. them say that. So, you know that it comes from this, like, the almost this thought of, like, yo, like, I see black people as, like, this. Yeah, it's, this, it's, this, it's this, a, a stigma. Too, yeah, right? it's, yeah. Like, it's an assimilation into a culture, right? right? That And so, you take those values and make them your own. And now you look at certain people as less than... Because the culture did, or right? Because but, historically, but, but which, somebody did. But which is taking what the white older people thought, yeah, right? Yeah. Of, it's, it's and then kind of yeah, taking it's it onto mentality. yourself. So technically, do you feel like that the Hispanic culture? Because I, I feel like I feel like this with Hispanic culture. I feel like Hispanic culture kind of makes himself feel like, oh no, I'm white. You're so blanco. Yeah, yeah. This Not like, necessarily like saying I'm green, yeah, as no, in like no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, a, I'm more like you yeah. know. They, they they look at skin tone uh, as a gateway into a different world. Right. Right? Like, let's be honest. That's yeah. what most people, people think. Um, I cannot think of anybody else, but for our culture, I can speak. Mm-hmm. And I believe that they, they see their skin tone as a doorway. Is I, I can't be dark-skinned because they see dark skin as a connotation for something that is less than. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm fair-skinned, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So I have the door to where I can be yeah. in the Caucasian group, yeah. into the white. Uh-huh. Because to them, they equate white with success. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like if I have that skin, then I can also have the pathway to success. Exactly. And, and I mean, I, I I heard a lot growing up with some cousins I had like yo, um, like they'll see a white girl that's blonde with blue eyes and they think she's pretty. Like and the girl yeah. won't even be pretty. Yeah. Like the, I see the girl I'm like because they're attra- they're attracted it. to certain. But those features, features, you know, it's like yo, that's what's popping, right? So like it, it, it's it's almost like that that wave that happened, you know, four hundred years ago or or whatever. I don't know how long ago slavery was. Um, was it 400 years ago? Something like that, right? Really? Okay. That wave kind of triggered well, other up people. To, up to a because I feel ago. like, I feel like that's, that's a form of self-hate. You know what I mean? Like, you, you yeah. don't accept of course. You, who you are fully. You know what I mean? Because you're still trying to like... And, but you gotta understand this historically too, right? Because in our countries, and the Spanish come and the Portuguese come, right? Yeah. It's usually most of our countries, that's who was in our mm-hmm. countries. Um, so that, the, the, this nigga Columbus, right? The, yeah, so, the, so, the, so, so Central America. Yeah, Central, Central America, America right. and you'll see it in, in a lot... In, in the Caribbean, and you'll see it definitely in uh, South America. Yeah. Where they were groups based by color. Yeah. Number one was the European. Mm-hmm. Number two was the mixed. And then there was the natives and the whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? So we, we know the words mulatto. We know the word mestizo. Yeah. But to us, those are words that our parents used to describe color. 
Yeah. Back then, those are words that were defined in rank. So like a caste system. Yeah, like it, it was a caste system based on color and based on bloodline. Yeah. And so people started associating, I'm not dark, so I'm not at the low class. Mm. I am mixed. I have heritage from European. I'm not, I may not be 100% European, so I'm not at the top. Yeah. Like, ergo, which is a mentality that would translate to white. Right? Yeah, is yeah. That I'm not at the top because I'm not European completely, but I have mixed because my dad or my mom married a European and they have sex or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, but so I'm mixed, I'm mestizo or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, but I'm not down here. I'm not black. Yeah. I'm not just everybody else. Because that's, that's how we carry that history. And so slavery was infused into us the history by caste systems or division. Yeah. System. So now we look, whether our parents are conscious of it or not. You know, we look at it the same way. Our parents look down, and I don't just mean, I don't mean my parents specifically, I mean parents, Hispanic parents. In general. It's like, just this, his, oh, that, that older Hispanic culture. And, and, so, and so you look, like for example, you don't look I'm at, like, you don't look at nationality, you look at skin tone. Yeah. Cubans will look at some less than, or greater yeah. than, based on color. Yeah. Dominicans will look at someone less than, or greater than, because think about it, Dominicans and Haitians <laughs> are part of the same <laughs> island. Mm-hmm. Is what divides them is this make belief border. Exactly. So exactly. what makes you Haitian? What makes you, oh no no no, I'm not them. Yeah yeah. yeah. That's not my culture. That's not my color. Yeah. They even look the them. Some of them are dark skin. Say I'm not black. Yeah. Because they, I'm not black. I'm Dominican. I'm not white. I'm all. Um, I'm, not, I'm not black. I'm, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Yeah. yeah that, that, that is that literally yeah. it, that historical distinction was like yo. I'm not that color. I'm me. Right. And right. and it's because we created this idea of self hate because we bought into the Kool Aid. Yeah. No, that, that that's like what I was getting to. Like that, 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 that that's just it though. You see, that, that mentality you don't really realize it, but growing up is like a lot of people don't kind of aim to be like you know where where they're. Me- I don't I don't want to say meant to be, but with the culture that they grew up, they started adopting other people. So for example, like here, right? If if you're Hispanic born here, you adopt that Western culture, right? If you're let's say born in the East, you adopt the Eastern culture. It's very very different. Yeah, you know I mean, you'll hear that from people who are world traveled mm-hmm. people. Yeah, you know I mean. Like, I remember... Um, yeah, they'll say the U.S. thing's different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, wherever you hear that as well travel, they'll tell you, like, yo, there's people in other cultures that live 100% different, think 100% different, and have very different thoughts from, you know... And you, you hear it all the time. Like, yeah. yo, people, like, especially, like, in the U.K., London, like, those motherfuckers hate, like, Americans. You get yeah, me? Yeah, it's, yeah. The Americans. Right, but it's still, but it's, it's still that adoption. Yeah. Like, I, 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 look, I've seen it all the time growing up. You got the regular Hispanic girls... And I, I always tell you, like, the, the Kim Cage of the world, right? Yeah. You got a million and one of them. Like, I, I call Kim Cage of the world, like, you're mm-hmm. you're a r- regular whatever freaking girl. You don't realize it because it's in the backdrop because you grew up with that culture. Mm-hmm. But you are Americanized in the sense mm-hmm. that, like, yeah, you look just like the white girls look. You, yeah. not you, look, act, yeah. you do not you look act. or act how people from your country yeah. look and act. You, you straighten your hair. And, and, we see those and you look at yeah. the people from your country, you probably think that they're, like, they look ugly. Yeah. They don't look, you know, whatever you think is because your, your culture will shift away from you regardless. Yeah, yeah example, in that sense. Yeah, for example, like, girls will say, oh, I hate my curly hair. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they've normalized the they've normalized American culture where straight hair is attractive. But yes, I to say that's historical. Oh. That's historical. That the girls will, will say like I hate straight hair or, yeah. or or aim for the clear eyes. Yeah, because this is what is they're looking at a feature uh-huh. of what was shown to them as beautiful and they bought into that. Exactly, and you and you know look you peep all that even throughout Disney movies. Yeah, yeah. you see Disney movie they start to kind of change up when the 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 effects of it start burning. Yeah, oh, like, how come there's not a black person? Yeah. How come there's not a you know say so you got the you get the Mulans, you get the princess and the frog. No, but even get, Mulan, Mulan's light skin, like super light skin. Right, like she's just not exactly. She's just not. Like besides the eyes, realistically. She, exactly. She, she didn't show what like a real Asian would have, yeah. right? Like so features. Think about, think about it. Like you bring Mulan, you change her eyes. She looks like a white girl. Like a white girl. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and those are the images that little girls in America grew up with, well, or, or baby, baby around the world. Sorry. Uh huh. But I I feel like Mulan was a shift, but it's something completely different than what you guys. Were well, saying. in the manhood that she was a captain, yeah, the leader it was of the movie. Like yeah. The feminism. She like didn't need power, help. She didn't need the savior. Power. Yeah, exactly. for sure, and that is true. She was a hero but in, in her story. But in the representation of our of our history, people call her pop, right? Huh? It's very minimal. Even that that was that princess, uh, the one in Louisiana. Princess and the Frog. Don't yeah, Princess and the Frog. Yeah. Whatever her name is. I know her name. Yeah. Well, I know her name. How, come, how come her prince charm is a frog when everybody else gets a stud? No, no, you're absolutely right. right. And, and I'm saying like, I, I that, thought you had like a, like the, a the, the representation no, 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 no. of people of color. And that's why, you know, our people are now living in a, in a world where we're finally, finally being heard. Yeah. 
But overall, it was like, there was a stigma yeah. that the only people that are heard, if they're successful, are basketball players and rappers, and they promote the wrong things. Yeah. Right? Or if they're successful, it's because they're, like, aesthetically gifted or blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, yo, most people don't have, their heroes are white. When you ask somebody a role model, even though I'm Hispanic, born in Honduras, most of our role models are white. Mm -hmm. Because we never looked at ourselves in somebody else because our people were not given that privilege. So we yeah. bought into, I have to be white and look up to the white. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Our people were not heard. Our people were not seen. You know, women. Women, there's a saying that says, women are meant to be seen, not heard. So when you finally see strong women, right, the woman in, the, to keep going with the Disney analogy, yeah, yeah. brave, that girl that refuses to conform to the norms or stuff like that, like all the movies that we see now, the hashtag feminism movement. It, it's like a, for our, our parents and people before, they're like, yo, you, you're being a rebel because you're not used to seeing people not conform to what they've seen before. It was just yeah, follow yeah. the trend. The woman stays in the kitchen. The woman serves. The woman, mm -hmm. now you see women that are politically uh, knowledgeable, that are educated, that are formidable yeah. with their words and with their what actions, and who are free-spirited, yeah, who yeah. don't conform to the normative standards of society. And it's like, our parents cannot put up with it. And I say our parents yeah. as in tradition, the, the, not just traditional uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I hope people understand what I'm saying when I say our parents. You know, it's like, yo, that's not how women supposed to be. That's literally what he's trying to tell you. That 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 but that that's that's a that's a classic Hispanic example, yeah. right? Where like the it's very rare for in a Hispanic family where you're gonna see or maybe or maybe in most families, right? You'll see where the woman is a breadwinner and the man is yeah. not. Yeah. You get know I me? Mean? And it's very rare for you to see like the man is the one that washes dishes and clean. Cause look, like so for the I, my parents and my house are speaking for myself. Very extremely traditional, and it's yeah, not. It is. It's not extremely traditional to the point where it's like, oh, my dad's like, yo, you have to. No, no. I've never seen my dad really wash dishes or really clean the house. You get me? Like my my dad just wakes up very early, comes home very late, bringing in what you will call the bacon in that sense, right? And my mom also works, but my mom also like you know I have to take care of the kids. My mom's also have to cook, clean all that stuff. I never seen my dad do that. Like my dad's never cooked for everybody in the house. My dad's never cleaned the whole house. Like. Shit like that, right? That's a very traditional, classic Hispanic family. Yeah, where, sure. You know what I'm saying? Where, where you'll, you'll see yeah, that. You have your gender happen. roles. Like, you know, like, oh, he's the man. He brings the bread. And then he relaxes because he worked all day. The woman provides, cleans the house, take care of the kids. You know, childbearing and all stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very normative societal yeah. understanding of, of culture and gender. Um, but that's the idea. The idea is because we were not shown a different, most of us submit yeah. to that. But Or we buy into, like, if I want to be different, I have to be... Wait. Like, exactly, but, but my, my, my thing here is this though, like, I, I think that that is what triggers not just self-hate, but hating. Oh, yeah. You get know I me? Mean? Because now, now, picture this now. Okay, not only are you living with, with that, like, technically speaking, right? Like, in the back mm -hmm. of your head, is, is there subconsciously, but you're also now, like, triggered by if, let's say, you have a job, right? Let's say mm -hmm. you're a janitor, right? And you've been a janitor for whatever, 30, 20 mm -hmm. years, right? And now you hear, okay, so you've been a job for 20, 30 years, you know that there's a, a, a correlation of salary, right? Like, it's a pattern. Like, yo, you're going to get between this and this, always. You get me? It's not, it's very rare for you to ever get anything else, right? If you hear somebody who is your peer, someone who you share, you know, you're close mm -hmm. to or whatever, and you see them win or, or gain, um, oh, they, they, so let's say, like, the salary's 30000 right, for, for a janitor. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person makes uh, $60,000 as a janitor. If that person is your peer, you automatically hate. A lot of people, their first reaction, uh, again, speaking with like the like the the tradi that traditional mindset, most people, their first reaction is like, nah, no way. There's no way that person gets that. Disbelief. There's no. But now, if there's a person that you don't even know that you never met in your life before, and you see them on Instagram or YouTube through some some type of message, say, oh, well, you know, I'm a janitor, make sixty thousand dollars. You look at them like. Damn, bro, that's crazy. I can, like, I, can, I can make it happen. If you do it, I can do it. But when somebody who's like close to you, like who could be your peer, nah, there's no fucking way this person did it because you automatically feel threatened. Like just what we talked about like in the last podcast, right? It's like this person who is possibly your equal, right? Who you share meals with you feel, and certain yeah. events with. You feel, less feel than. like you're in the same yeah, level. You feel less than. Now that you feel like they're up, you can't be happy for this person. You're like, nah, fuck that because you're trying to reach that. You get me? That's how... It, it, it's, it's the same thing of like, yo, everybody wants you, like, it's not like nobody wants you to have nothing or like everybody wants you to be good. They just don't want you to be better than them. Mm -hmm. You know that whole, that whole. Yeah, yeah. That I, whole I want you to succeed. I just want, I don't want you to succeed more than I do. Right. right. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be left yeah. behind and then you end up like, you know what I mean? Which, which, which again though, like, it, culturally speaking though, that's, that's put in the back of your head. Like that, you're, you're, it's almost like you're born to hate in that sense because 
Now you you no longer be like, oh shit, like yo, you're a Hispanic person, you're Spanish, whatever. And me personally, I don't get caught up in the race thing. Me personally, I don't. But you can be black, white. I don't give a fuck if you. I always come from circumstances. If you came from a rough circumstance or something similar than, than mine or worse than mine, I'm thinking, I right, well, shit, if you did this shit, I can do it. Because, you know, lately I've been hearing, um, and so I, I'll take Grant Cordon, for example, right? So Grant Cordon has very strong opinions and feelings, right? Mm-hmm. He's, he's a little bit of an arrogant guy. If you see him, you know, like, I, you know, young Grant to me, when I, when I hear him speak, because, mind you, I, I don't like to really judge people or take a whole thing off of people because people... They only show you a little glimpse of yeah, their life. You yeah. get me? The Instagram. And so, for example, like Fatima just posted, um, you guys are at the coffee shop, right? An IG. And somebody could see that and be like, damn, she looks so happy. You get me? But then in reality, she's going through some pains. You get what I'm saying? Because somebody but, just broke up. But away. people, exactly, because people just oh. see a little yeah. glimpse. You get me? Like, a, a little 12 he seconds or whatever. Me. <laughs> and, 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 and you wouldn't know that because you're thinking, damn, like you, you look happy, you know, you look like you're out yeah, and about, like, you enjoy like, life. But so, so so this person, you know, um, so going to Grant, like that, that's what he seems like to me. He seems like when he was young, he's like this arrogant party guy. You know, he talks a little bit about his life. The, but the point is that you know the way that he kind of comes at certain angles, I can't necessarily agree with it because he was born a middle class guy, and he was born with okay, I had this kind of lifestyle. My dad died. I, my lifestyle had to downgrade, so now I'm trying to figure out how to make it in life, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about money, 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 which to me is is very different because yo, I come from a place where like yo. If we, if we make eighty thousand dollars by ourselves, yo, you're fucking rich. Yeah, you're making, you're making money. money. You're like making it's money. not even about yo. If you make a if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, you're rich. Most of most people will t- like at least from our neighborhood will be like yo, you're rich. Right? And combined income, if you made a hundred k, you still rich, be rich. Right. You get a rich family. Which which in in again when you start learning about numbers and you really start getting into finance, mm-hmm. you realize that a hundred thousand dollars doesn't mean shit when you're trying to build wealth. You get me? Now, you can definitely manage $100,000 to build wealth yeah. and have a very good life. But if you just make $100,000 and you're just fucking it up, then you're, you're not going to do... You're not doing nothing. You might as well just be making $4,000 anyways. You get me? But now, so for, for, from that point of view, though, you know, like like some of the things that, that are said, it's it, it just doesn't fit. You get me? Things always have to come between a, a, a combined of, of circumstance. If you come from, from poorness, you get me? You kind of learn to appreciate... Like, you know, the little shit that you yeah, get. It's yeah, it's proportionality. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, look, just like you said, if you make 100000 combined income, you make a great fucking living. If you make $80,000 combined income, you make a great fucking living. You get me? You don't necessarily, because, you know, too many people get caught up in the realm of like, oh, well, no, you know, I want a, a, a Benz, and, I want, and all of that shit comes from social media. All of that shit comes from social media. Most people didn't know what a BMW was, what a Rolex was, or what any of these brands were before social media. They didn't know what the fuck a Chanel yeah. was. They didn't know. They thought Chanel was somebody misspelled channel. Yeah. You get me? And and yeah. that's it, bro. You get me? Nobody knew what the fuck that was until they started seeing Kim Kardashian and all yeah. these people wearing that type yeah. of shit. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you're just trying to make it by. Exactly. Like, social media gives you that vision of what my life could be. Yeah. Right? And so my you're like, you're like, why, be. why, why not me? Mm-hmm. That is the question that. Because and so we we're chasing people. We're not chasing success. We're chasing people. No, oh, that, 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 that's always what it comes down to. That it, it's not even chasing people. You no longer care about your own happiness. You now you you want to be celebrated by other people, and you do whatever mm-hmm. it takes to get it. So today you got a Rolex, and people are like, wow, congratulations, dog, so dope. Yeah, you took your picture, and you're out and about. But that that, that now that shit dimmed down. Nobody's telling you congratulations anymore. So what's the next shit you're gonna do? Oh, so now you got a car. Oh, yeah, damn, right. bro, you know. And it, it kind of just keeps going to the point where you you fade away. Like you yourself, you all your yeah, dreams, yeah. all your aspirations yeah. fade away because you're too you busy trying to things. chase yeah, the things. things that you think, yeah. oh, this shit's gonna make me happy because I'm gonna get yeah, X, Y, and Z. We associate people with success. Yes, yes. You know, um, that that's a very good point. Uh, going to church, right? Or I'm, and maybe you correct me too if if I'm off with what you said. But um, we're we're going to um Sunday, right? You want to or whatever, right? And I see a girl in the car. I'm like, damn, girl's really pretty. I would not expect her to drive that car. Right? He's like, oh, you associate pretty people with money. Like yeah. you think that pretty mm-hmm. people have money, right? So I'm like, no, I don't think pretty people have money. I I, I think it depends. But then. You know, you analyze. I get, I get it's what you Hollywood. meant by that. I get it's what Hollywood. you meant by that. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you, you know, know you meant by that. Every movie in Hollywood, right? Successful people are always attractive. Yeah, it's, it's very rare that they're not. Yeah, right? and if they're not, if the the movie ends up being that she ends up being attractive at the end. Yeah. Or yeah, that's like, like she had a whole makeover yeah, yeah, and yeah, she ended yeah. up looking you know, better. Yeah. Think about it. Every movie. So we associate success with looks. Yeah. Like 
you are good looking, you are therefore successful, right? And it's the same idea of everything else. You you are if you're visibly attracted to somebody, then you're successful, quote, quote unquote. Until you see somebody's driving a minivan and you're like, that does not align with who you are, but you don't even know the person. Yeah. You just Instagram looked at them for five mm-hmm. seconds, mm-hmm. assumed something, and then you actually saw the real life and you were like, What? Yes. Like, oh, like this shit is nothing. But but and so that's that's what kind of consumes us as a society is we're looking at somebody's highlight reel and we're comparing it to our Monday. Exactly. And you know, like yo, with with, with that whole thing, man, it's is this so like you know, when when do when when do people like when do people ever really just stop to think now? Cause I feel like we lack this whole thing about okay, what what is what is it that makes us happy? You know what I mean? Cause I feel like one one very underlining link is that we're kind of chasing money no matter what. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For no matter sure. what. And I understand it, cause yo you need money, cause nigga, you know you still need to live somewhere in your life. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. still need to drive uh, something. You know what I mean? To get you from point A to point B. I understand that part. You need money if you want to build wealth. Like, I understand that part. But you know. When do people really ask themselves, oh, what makes me happy? I feel like a lot of people feel like what makes them happy is not attainable. It's not an attainable career. You know I mean, it's not like, oh, like, well, painting makes me happy. I can't really make a lot of money off of painting, right? Because historically speaking, painters don't really get made yeah. money unless you're like... Artists in general don't. Right. Pay. Artists in general don't really get paid. It's, it's very few. You, know I mean? you go to art school for, for whatever. Usually, art school is usually the worst degree you can ever get in your life. You, know I mean? like you play a hell of money yeah. and then you never get a good ROI on it. But... <laughs> At, at the end of the day, though, people aren't focused on, yo, this is what I like to do. This is what I enjoy doing. You get me? Yeah. And when that happens and you don't really start focusing on what makes you happy, that's exactly why you have a bunch of craziness going on, a bunch of like like un- unsatisfied people craving all of this other attention yeah. from social media because you're not doing the stuff that you enjoy doing, the stuff that energizes you, the stuff that motivates Because, you know, realistically, it's not necessarily about a passion. You get me? Everybody talks about you know, finding your passion. I understand the the words, but I think people need to start using words like energize. Like, yo, what energizes you? You get me? What pumps you up? Why you know do what I'm you saying? Need to wake up every morning. Exactly. Because if you're not doing those things, then you're not going to be energized. Mm-hmm. You're going to be drained. Yeah. You get me? And, you're, and you need that yeah, energy. You need that positivity. Yeah. You get me? At the end of the day. So, uh, all, all that to say is that, like, yo, the realm in which you choose to live is your choice. You get me? And you need to start making the decisions in your life. That's literally what I'm down is is, yeah. is, is saying at all times. You get me? Because I'm down is like, yo, you know, there's times where you could dream about stuff. Like, yo, you, you're in your bed and you dream, damn, but I wish like, one day I could just get up, go to the gym in the morning, you know, be able to get fit. And you know, dream about that. But the whole point of that is to get up and do it. You get me? And start doing it. Get to, and if you fall, you get back up and you fall. Because there's, there's, there's literally no such thing as failure until you give up on something. You get me? That's fair. That's yeah, true. when you give up, that's when you fail. But if if you know, if I go play ball every day and I'm trash and I'm trash and I'm trash and I'm trash, but I go back to that park every single day, I ain't fail, bro. You get me? You're not gonna. You, you could say whatever, but I didn't you, fail. You regardless, I'm still going. Yeah, yeah I'm still trying you to get better. Succeed because it's bullying out of you something beautiful. Exactly. exactly. And, and you know, to wrap it up, guys. Yeah, cause I'm getting hot, man. I'm starting to. Boy, I'm starting to sweat. Impossible burger. Don't eat it. Chase your dreams. Find passion. But not just find it, make sure you pursue the development and maturity of that passion. Make that dream a viable option. And, you know, we love you. We believe in you. We're encouraged by you. And we want to encourage you to follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Recommend it to somebody and then make fun of us. We love you too. Don't eat Impossible Burger. And Jesus, name we pray. <laughs> this is I'm Down. Peace. I heard you say amen.